Until then, and this might be a guy, it'll be interesting to see if anybody trashes him because he responded to being trashed, I guess you could say. And uh, it's Russell Westbrook I'm talking about, the point guard for the L.A. Lakers who is having a troubled season, to say the least. Could have never imagined it being this bad, Chris. When we thought it we wasn't We knew it fit. wouldn't be good. But right, we, didn't but we didn't think couple. it was going to be this. I'm right. serious. Nobody right. did. And uh, yesterday, last night after their loss to San Antonio without LeBron James and Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook was asked. Now, I, I think it's important to know he didn't just bring this up unsolicited. But his wife his was wife on social over media. The weekend, right. Yeah, was on Twitter, uh, basically lamenting the situation and how Russell's being criticized and called out of his name. He's called Russ, Russell Westbrook, uh, particularly by our, our good friend uh, Skip Bayless, but others as well, Westbrook and. Um, She actually got into it with Skip uh, on Twitter, just going back and forth. But uh, Russell was asked, but she also, Rob, says they've gotten death wishes. Now, now right there, Chris, that's ridiculous, okay, over basketball. Unacceptable. I will never never stand up for anything like that. But I will stand up for a right for commentators and writers to be creative and come up with little nicknames, even if it's not that flattering. I, I, I don't believe that's crossing the line. Obviously, right. if it's she shouldn't even put that out there. If that's really what's going on, Chris, you should you should uh you should um check in with the authorities, report it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like and maybe she like, did. I, we don't know. I'm just saying, but but, yeah. but to put that out there in the public, just go to the police with that and try to find out who's doing that and open an investigation. But Well, here here here's Russ, Rob, and here here's what he said and then we'll we'll comment. I can no longer allow people, um, you know, for example, West Brick to me is now shaming. Like it's shaming my name. It's uh, my legacy for my kids. Um, it's a name that means more, not just to me, but to my wife, to my mom, my dad, uh, the ones that kind of paved the way for me. And, and that's just one example. I mean, that kind of hit myself and my wife in a, in a place where it's not great, man. And a lot of the, a lot of times, you know, I let it slide, but it's now trying to put a stop to to that and put it on notice. All right, Rob, go ahead. I'm sorry, Chris. I think this is the most overblown nothing that I've ever heard. And now it's like his name, it's the legacy and his kids and all that. This is what you sign up for when you become a public, uh, a public figure. It just is, Chris, whether you like it or not. There are people who can go overboard or say something that's out of bounds. But Westbrook, I'm sorry, is a clever uh, clever little play on it. He's not shooting the ball well. That's what you call uh, a brick when the player doesn't uh, put right. up a good shot. It's just a, a playing off of that term, which has been used forever. Oh, he's shooting bricks tonight. He's a bricklayer. You know, all that. And it just fit. Westbrook, Westbrook. To go uh, out, and as you said, it was his wife who put it out on Twitter, and it was right, right by the and reporters, he's Chris. His wife, obviously. Right, and the reporters are right to ask. It's in public, oh, it's yeah. out there, right. They have to ask the question about it. That's why it was brought up. But I, I don't understand we, like, the notion that damage is being done to his legacy or his kids or whatever by some people. I just think sometimes you should ignore some of that. And not add fuel to the fire. And in this case, that's what I think it is. Let people say whatever they want. You have a good life. You're, you're uh, one of the NBA's top 75. Yes, you're having a bad year. You're going to be in the Hall of Fame. This was a bad situation coming back home to Los Angeles. I get it. It's embarrassing, Chris. And you can imagine well, how he feels. It's embarrassing that you finally get to come home to play for a storied franchise. And you're the problem. That's what, wh- whether it's fair or not. That's how it comes across. You're the problem because you're new and it ain't working out. Um, But I don't know when he says uh, he's not going to stand for it anymore, what he can do, because I don't know exactly what he can do. I I don't think he has any – he can't do anything. No, and and if he tries, he's going to make it worse. Like last night he said something to a fan. That's one fan. What about when the entire arena, you're at the free throw line in the play-in, 
you know, throwing that out there if they get there. And they're chanting West Brick. West Brick. Is he going like, to ask for them to throw them out? Do? Right, right. I, I want all these fans out. I want all of them out. Right. Like, there's nothing you can do. So for him to say, I'm just going to start addressing, that was wrong. Now, let, let me go here, Rob. Obviously, as you said, death wishes stop it, fans. I mean, that that's just that's crossing ridiculous. the line. Yes. And nobody should have to deal with that. Um, He also talked, Rob, and we didn't hear it on the clip, about his son. And you brought it up briefly. You know, his son, they went to a PTA meeting him and his wife. Shout out to him for that. That's good. Not not a lot of men going to PTA meetings, so that was good. But he said his son was so proud of, according to the teachers, of his last name, Westbrook. And she said he's writing it all over the place, and he's so proud that he's a Westbrook and all that. And that's what he used, Rob, to say, so this Westbrook stuff has to stop. I would say, and you hit it on the head first, public job, public career. You and I get criticized. Every day. You handle it however you want. Yep. You can not look at it. You can block people as you do. You can go back at them. You I don't do go back at people, right. I just but let it, let it, you, let, let it, it be. Is a, right. It is a part of the job. And, and we got to keep it real, Rob. The guy who, and, and Skip even said this, I was on Undisputed with him and Shannon today. He's he didn't know, and I was asking people, did did Skip create what rest brick? Because obviously he uses it a lot and he's the most prominent person to use it, but he didn't know. He said, I've been saying it for years. I don't know if I created it. Um, but you know, he was certainly one of the first people to say it publicly. And and Skip himself, Rob, said he's gotten death threats. He said when he went to the finals. In uh, Miami against Oklahoma, remember that, 2012, that ESPN actually had uh, him have police escorts. No, I don't. Because he had gotten death threats, and they thought it was that serious. So We've had other friends, figures, uh, other guys yes. who have had to have security and different things. Uh, Politicians, Chris, entertainers, actors, there have been, actresses, there have been radio rappers, hosts, whatever you are. There have been radio hosts who have been killed outside their station. You know what I mean? Right. And, and crazy people who take – the show uh, so serious. So we get that there's a, a real threat sometimes out there. And it, and it, but to your point, it just comes with the job. If you just want to hoop to take the, uh, you know, some sentiment from Kevin Durant, I just want to hoop. Then just go hoop at the Y. Nobody will write stories about you. Nobody will talk about you on TV and radio. You'll just be able to hoop. And you guess what? You won't get forty million dollars a year. Either. Exactly. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I. So that's part of it. You're in a public profession. But I would say this about his son, Rob, because that was heart tugging. And I, I believe, you know, my dad to me was Superman when I was growing up, mm-hmm. right? And I think it actually could be harder on a child, maybe particularly a boy, but maybe any child, to hear criticism about your dad even more than criticism about yourself like look we all grew up you get teased people make fun of you you might have a funny nickname people throw at you you know certainly at times right it's just a part of growing up you get in fights all that but I never heard anything bad about my dad like you know people just dogging my father I never heard that but I can imagine if I had it would have really been like what? Like deflating because that's your dad and he means everything to you, at least in my situation, and a lot of them. But I think what Westbrook has to do is sit down with his son, Rob, and talk to – use this as a teaching moment. You know, son, I, I play basketball for a living. You know, daddy's famous, and millions of people watch me. Some love me, and some hate me. <laughs> right, and, and that's fine. Me, and you that's know, fine. and they call me West Brick. And look, I don't let it bother me, and you don't ever let it bother you if anybody says that to you. You are a West Brook, and we are proud of our name. We come from this and that, and we've done this and that, and don't you ever let anybody make you ashamed of your name. It's so, use it as a teaching moment. Right. Rob, what we used to say growing up, I don't know if they say it nowadays because people are so sensitive. Sticks and stones. That, right. I think they've forgotten that. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. We, we, we all said that, Chris, because we all went to school 
and we all got teased. I, I just don't know of anybody. Nobody was perfect. I don't care what kid it was, Chris. Right. There would be something that the kids would pick on you, right? Absolutely. At, at least occasionally, sometimes yep. here or there, and it's just a part of life. So I get it. It's sad if indeed, and he didn't say that his kid has been challenged, people calling him West Brick and all that. But if it happens, I mean, get out in front of it, and just like any other kid who's, you know, teased, you got to talk to them, and, um, you know, it it can make them stronger. But the bottom line, Rob, is it it just – it comes with the territory, and Westbrook just has to accept that. I I just think guys are way too sensitive. I I get it, Chris. It's – there's more media, there's more stuff, social media, fans and all that have have a voice and a platform. So, yes, but it does come with the job, and we talked about it before. When Trump was president. I mean, he, but bombard, he was bombarded every day, Chris. Every single day. Every the single whole day. network's uh, just dedicated every to Every day. Ripping. Yeah, every day. And then and Biden, same thing. Or Obama, same thing. Like, exactly, it, it, Obama. It just, it, I mean, he, look at the Obama children growing up. You got to right. talk to them. They got to deal with stuff. You're right. They couldn't even, and, what you call it, Chris? They didn't, uh, he wasn't born here. How many times did they right. have to go through that story? He right. wasn't born here. He was it, born it, in Kenya. And and I get it, Rob. Like you said, look, social media is every fan now has a bullhorn, right? Every yep, I mean, every yep. knucklehead out there can go on social media and rip you. Out there, TV, we talked about TV talk shows, radio shows like ours. It is ubiquitous. It is hard to get away from. I get it. And it can be challenging. But if you're not up to the te- job, then don't take the job. Right. I mean, and, like, if you're not, a, that's a, and this is what I've been saying about Ben Simmons, right? Like, if you're not up to the task of being booed, being criticized, being challenged, then maybe it's not the job for you as great as you may be at that sport. I think it is the job for you, but you just got to understand this is a part of the job. And you have to be able to fight through it and always believe in yourself and what you're doing. It's not about, you just said it. The sticks and stones thing we used to say when we were kids is you still have to believe in yourself, Chris. No matter what, if somebody goes on Twitter and rips you or or whatever it is or rips me, you know what you're doing. I know we, we've been doing this for a right. long time. And, and everybody, I get it. Everybody's not going to agree with me. Everybody's going to, not everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, Rob's the best. He always says everything that I like and, and I agree with him. It doesn't work out like that. And it's right. okay. It's all right. And some people, Rob, you have to know either what type of person you are. Like, there, you don't have to look. Uh, players, athletes, spouses of athletes, parents of athletes, you don't have to be on social media. No. Or I, certainly I, not like on it all day, every day, like looking, checking everything that's said about your son or your husband or whoever it may be. You don't have to do it. Why and put I yourself bet, through that? Why put Rob, yourself through it? There have been tests done to show and prove that social media can lead to depression, anxiety, and it, just with regular people, with, right. with teenagers. Try, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Right. You don't have the latest sneakers. You don't Absolutely. have this. They, they, everybody's showing you this, this fake life, yep. and you're feeling like you're missing out on, on all that stuff. Uh, what so you, imagine if you're constantly seeing negative stuff and you're a celebrity, you're famous and everybody's doing it. Like some of y'all just need to get off of it. Real talk. And, and maybe not get off of it completely, but just not pay attention. Don't look at all that stuff. That's one reason like, look, Rob, everybody rips Kevin Durant and all this. And, and, and some of it's justifiable for sure. But I give him pro- like he's able to go and look at all that stuff and really not let it affect his game. No, nah, that, that's for sure. You know, like he right. takes it and he responds. I don't care if he responds. That's his right. Um, and, and he goes out there and plays. And, and it sounds just, like Westbrook had the right attitude, right? Like he said, look, I've let it bounce off me. I never paid attention. That's how you should be. Now you're going to really try to go at everybody that says Westbrook? Rob, I don't know. I mean, is it a kinder, gentler society now? I don't know. But I, I can imagine that a lot of fan bases, Rob, might take this and run with it. Yeah, I would have definitely because you put it out there and you let it know it gets under your skin. 
So you're right, Chris. From here on out, that might be the chant every time, especially on the road, right, that he's going to hear that. Yep, yep. Not All right, we're— He's let, he's let everybody know that that's a sore spot. In a playoff, I mean, who knows if they'll be in the playoffs or whatever. But in a playoff series, Rob, a close game, you don't, you don't think fans will go there? Shoot. Come on. 